See, I'm living proof of what the mercy of God can do. If you knew me then, you would leave me now. He turned my whole life upside down. He took the old and he made it new. That's what the mercy of God can do. See, I'm alive to tell the story of I've overcome His goodness and mercy and the power of His blood. I'm so glad that my freedom wasn't based on what I've done. His goodness and mercy and the power of His blood. Yes, sir. Goodness and mercy, power of his blood. Welcome back to Odom's Homestead down here in Zone 7A, Tennessee. Today, just a little garden walking talk. Afternoon, not morning. Afternoon, just getting off work. But yeah, let's get on into this video. First, this is on uh, some pinto beans that I planted a couple of weeks ago. I planted these from seed. They coming up. They doing all right, but they ain't as far as long as I would like them to be. So I'll probably end up hitting them up with some super juice. Here's some Mushu Bai juice. Got hit by that lake frost the other day. But the gooseberries is just doing that thing. Now here's the next gooseberries, the biggest one. It's already got. You can actually start seeing the fruit already on these. This looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Potatoes will start coming up that I planted right here. Some ruffled potatoes. Ruffled potatoes. And they said, uh, that farmer inspired a uh, fool you percentage. I think I'm gonna call her Julie. Some more peas coming up here. Blueberries, set the blueberries. It's a tougher blue. Most of them looking pretty good. Some of them not looking too hot. But yeah, that's like not everything pans out your way. Blueberry, I don't see too many berries setting. That's usually my most reliable one. I see a few, but not as many as usual. But like this top part, this uh, I don't know. It's a lot of stuff like that. It's looking like that top part and leaf out. I don't know if it's still waiting to leaf out or it. It's that's dead. You see down that being cherished like that. That being cherished like that. Blueberries up here. This rose bush, I don't know, it's not doing nothing yet. Still, all the company's going crazy. This rose bush is finally coming back. Hope this will come back. That's that long stem rose. Great thing, it's just growing like crazy. Like they always do. Some Japanese beetles come in. Maybe we won't have too much damage. Didn't get too much last year. I'm putting down that uh, milky spores to try to kill off some of the grubs for the last couple of years. One more year. You know, they say it takes three years for it. I have, I have seen the difference. I haven't seen as many last year as I've seen the year before. So maybe it's working. Let's see. 
come to life. I said, I'll tell you, honey, pig. I said, uh, Texas ever been? Black man just going like crazy. This road is looking good. My granddad's kind of coming up. Looking pretty good. That road still hasn't done nothing yet. This look, uh, lapis, cherry. Looking pretty good. Oh, down there looking lovely. This great vine is not setting any grapes. Then we get number two off of it last year. Now come on now. I'm gonna show me something. We're going out. I see a few bales still on these uh that king or man walk, however you want to say that king or that's how I said that king chair. Strawberry can start to uh, turn. Got out a little rain, they swelling up. I've been water, they swelling up. And, uh, strawberries, flower and setting fly, uh, fruit, that's the water. They got a berry to get. You see, this uh, Niagara grape, she just loaded. She's loaded. She's something on that leaf right there. Baby. Maybe you get quite a few off of her. Yes. Even that cutting got with quartz around. Maybe you get quite a few off of this Niagara. Okay. Strawberry about ready to give us their first bounty. That king cherry is looking very good. That's something that's looking pretty good. That's a climax. This is a five and one pump. Strawberry is looking good. That's a five and one pump. That's a further great sign. I planted it right there. It's just that far to the top. More garlic right there. I planted it for about a couple more stuff. Look pretty good. Let's advise you the nano. I think you're pretty good. First piece is at Alberta. You've really seen no fruit set. Let me go. Like something, uh, there might be a few on that. These moose, uh, Carolina King got hit by a frog. Still got to harvest some of that oregano. Bell of Georgia peach, uh, bananas, moose of Cominatus, North Cavendish, pineapple guava, Carolina Kings, comfrey. Garlic, yellow garlic, yellow pineapple garlic, go for a no clue, still not growing, growing yet. More oregano, garlic right here, more garlic there, more garlic there, going around, more garlic there, more garlic there. See what's missing? Big red. Yo, a little red ain't looking too hot. I don't know what happened to them. Still hoping that leaves out something. There was a lot of there was a lot of fruit on that side. I think it might have got killed off by that frog. Raspberry just growing like crazy. They just now starting to flower, put on some flowers. Got a lot of them back. I'm gonna dig up most of these. 
these new canes and move them. Fred, another spot. It's a, uh, I think it's passion fruit that's coming back over there. I'm not thinking, I don't know if it's passion fruit vine or just more raspberry. But so far, it hasn't came back at all yet. Yeah. I like crepe myrtle. Big old beast rose bush. I've got what those things are. She called them balloon flowers. I don't know what balloon flowers are, but that's what she called them. I don't know what that is either. This is what she planted last year. I don't think it's hard to talk to them, so I think it might be dead. I don't know if it's gonna be like a big uh I, I think it's a hot uh biscuit. I don't know if it's gonna be like them big hot biscuits that come back every year or not. Just my youngest pair, that's that uh water pair. Let's see. It's Looks like they might hold on. Did have a cluster up here. Looks like they all dropped. There was one holding on last week, but looks like it's gone now. Last year it only held on to two. This is only the third year it's been in the, the ground here. So really wasn't expecting much. If they hold on in the cluster, that'd be nice. I have to take some of them off. You know, that's a pretty big cluster there. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six right there in that little cluster. Seven. Right there for seven right there in that little cluster. I don't see no more. I'll keep looking because it was a cluster up here and I know all of them fell off and there was one still up here but looked like it might have fell too. Oh well. This is the oldest one I have. This is a Mungo or Mongolian, however you want to say it. Let me back up some. That's that one. Didn't flower. Second year in a row. Pine off a pair, it's just growing like crazy, but didn't flower. Third year it's been in the ground, didn't flower. And it always looks terrible, this pineapple pear. I'm really debating on taking it out. Chief of pear flowered. Lost most of it with late frost. Was holding on the sun. I don't know if Probably not going to make it. That one. May make it. And that's sad because she usually gave me at least a dollar. Oh, it's another cluster right there. She usually gave me at least a dollar. It's been crazy weather. I don't see any more. I really meant to chop her back last fall and didn't do it. And I'm regretting it. She is growing like crazy. Growing like crazy. Yeah, but I don't see no more flowers. I don't think she's going to push any more out. That's okay. That's okay, baby. Better luck next year. Look at that. Look at that. We get to get a snack. Really could use a couple more days. At least one more day. But I don't want to wait. It's the first one. I got to have them.
You see, I didn't pull it. I broke it out. I actually broke some of the stem off. You pull it. You can pull out the whole plant. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. That right there was uh, delicious, delicious. Supposed to get some rain, but it hadn't rained yet. I'm ready to see what them gonna do this year. Last year we had them up in that raised bed. They didn't do all that hot. Didn't get too many off of them. They looked crazy when we did get them. But we're gonna see what they're gonna do right here. Mm. Two Roman cherry tomatoes, ton of greens, collard greens, onions, onions, nothing here. I'm gonna put them cucumbers out. I mended that yesterday. I put a uh, Michelite uh, compost and some uh, peat moss in it. You know, my poor guavas. I gotta finish up potting. I gotta repot her. That's that white guava. This right here is my uh, Myers lemon. So he got knocked a lot back from the frost, but it's holding on, and it's even flowering more. And putting on a bunch of new growth. Not just up part of her. It's one, two, three, four little baby lemons. More buds over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's a kumquat. It's putting on some more. Okay. That's the smoothest one I planted. Meanwhile, kumquat. This thing is huge. That's the Nagami kumquat. Got knocked all the way back by the frost. Just now coming back. That more blood orange was more blood orange, but it's coming back from the loaded graph here you can see it was grafted here and all this growth is coming from below the graph so yeah that's root stock i don't know what kind of root stock it is but it's root stock with these big leaves on it makes me want to think some type of lemon it smell like lemon Reminds me of my uh, six-year-old seed grown lemon. Why them leaves looking like smell? That's probably what it ended up being, some type of lemon. We gotta get all this stuff in the in the ground. Some tomatoes, more cuttings. Got one that's starting to root pretty good. Looks like. No, it's tiger feed, yellow long neck, white marcellus coming back. Cialis. The huge fig. That's our uh, Olympian. The Delta. The Beast, LSU Purple, Hugo, the beer is black. They all come back with the pretty delicious. Piece of Hugo that I broke off. Another beer is black. Brown turkey. More tomatoes, tomatoes, cubes. All gotta get them in the ground. Then I think we got our uh, last frost date. Past our last frost date. Try to get them in the ground. So we can look these up. Apples, pomegranates, bananas, figs over here too. Get them crazy dog food. Spice. My dogs. 
right there. So sorry about those. The feed coming back. Another feed coming back. Nanners. And it's uh got a lot of kings. That was kind of fly with this. Cut it here, I don't think they kind of got another feed cutting. Chives we just harvest. My uh, Arkansas black apple. My red delicious apple. Come free. Come free. Crab apple. Come from Arbor Day. The Odom's apple. And all her loveliness. All that apple coming up. Another uh, banana right there. That's the North Carolina king too. The North pomegranate. Look like they coming back, but from way down here. See none of this leaf out yet. We'll leave it. Gala apple. Call it. Lemon bond, oregano, rose of Sharon. Come on, call it. Right, bless you. She's looking pretty good. Yeah, some stuff looking good, some stuff not. Yeah, that's why. Stuff happened. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. Old Tom said. Let's show them clothes on this little black bear. Old Tom said, growing compassion.